When you realize Karen never learned to keep her hands to herself part one. The Karens are at it again, except this time they're airborne. This time of year has many of us busting out the suitcases and the plane tickets to go visit Mima in Texas or Florida or wherever. And although the holiday season has put many of us in a generous or cheery mood, being especially considered for those airline service workers who make coming together with our families possible, that unfortunately is not reason enough for the Karens of the world, who make sure to place their problems above everyone else's. So much so that it's had a huge impact on the airline industry at large. This is most evident in the survey quoted in this article, which recorded in a survey of 5,000 flight attendants from 30 airlines by the Association of Flight Attendants CWA Union, with 85% of airline workers saying they had dealt with unruly passengers this year, with over half saying they had experienced five or more such incidents, and 17% saying they were involved in an incident that got physical. The increase of workplace violence has specifically targeted airline employees and other service workers, folks who are at the front line of these industries, who have endured drastic changes in an industry shuttered by the COVID pandemic, and are oftentimes having to bear the weight of passengers who are frustrated by unannounced sudden changes and corner-cutting policies that are handed down by airline executives. Corporate bigwigs who are trying to make a quick and easy buck off of the suffering of the American people. And although the abuse of the airline industry is not a secret to anyone, executives continuing neglect of their own service workers has gotten out of hand threatening the safety and security of everyday working Americans. This is more than evident in this article that details the crisis saying, quote, when asked what they believe to be the cause or escalating reasons for the unruly behavior, flight attendants cited mask rules, alcohol, routine safety reminders, flight delays, and cancellations as common factors. The article continues to say that, quote, a spokesman for the Transportation Security Authority said that in response to the uptick in unruly passengers, the agency is relaunching self-defense courses for flight attendants. The program was originally put in place in 2004 in response to the 9-11 attacks and the initiative's popularity eventually waned, he said. The fact that we have to go back to policies that were implemented in response to a terrorist attack is really concerning. And things have gotten so out of hand that even the US government has had to step in. With quote, the House Transportation and Infrastructure Subcommittee Chairman, Democrat Rick Larson, emphasizing that airlines and the federal government must work together to protect flight attendants who often suffer the consequences of passenger violence. And although I'm not optimistic about the US government's ability to hand down apt and robust regulation against airline industries protecting US workers and holding large companies responsible for the abuse that they hand down to the American people. I am hopeful that the holidays bring some sort of relief to those airline workers who make this time of year possible. I salute you and I hope you get to enjoy this time of year with your families as well. This is Adrian Costa of The Breakdown. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and check back for more videos. See you guys soon.